Hey, all my friends on YouTube. Just kind of wanted to give you a life update on what's going on here and uh, some happenings and uh, some of the reasons why for a little while I won't be riding on my motorcycle or doing much driving in a, of a car or anything like that. Um, something's been going on for the last three years as I've been going to the eye doctor, and some of my close friends know about this too, that um, in my family, my mom and my dad both got cataracts and they were so bad before they reached 60 that they had to get an operation done. And I thought maybe by following my doctor's advice and wearing sunglasses constantly, especially since I was very young, that maybe I could delay the onset of that a little bit. But um, even though I'm 57 years old, uh, my doctor told me this last eye checkup in about June that I'd better look for a doctor by the end of the year. Uh, I was still thinking I could probably be a little bit stubborn about it and put it off for another year, but... Um, Basically, happenstances have been letting me know and telling me that it's time to get it done. Uh, last year, Navy Thomas even noticed, too, that I was losing my vision, too. I gave him a little bit of a scare when we were riding in the Jeep, too. I didn't notice something, and we were pulling into a parking lot, and there's these concrete, I call them stanchions, but people have different bumpers for, you know, putting your wheels up against, and... Uh, went right up and over one of those. I actually didn't even see it at all. I just thought we were going into an entrance to a, a parking lot and uh, pulled in. So um, I thought at first I kind of put it off too well. Maybe I was just distracted and wasn't looking or something like that. But I should have noticed that already my vision was deteriorating pretty bad. And then I gave Mick a little bit of a scare coming back from our vacation. I went across in a small rural area. There was a bridge across the Mississippi, not in St. Louis, but quite a ways north of there. And going across the bridge, I did not see a stop sign at all. Now it was overclass, overcast and cloudy and the one thing when you have cataracts really bad, your contrast goes way down. When it's bright and sunshiny, um, it's fine. You can see everything just fine, but as soon as it gets overcast, and especially if there's a lot of things mixed together, and in this case there was a lot of construction going on, a lot of orange cones, uh, a lot of construction signs, and basically the stop sign just kind of blended in with everything and I didn't even see it at all, but it was in a rural area there was no traffic around so it wasn't any problem but I think it kind of freaked him out a little bit that I went right through the stop sign and then across the bridge um, with the Mississippi River so kind of let me know that it was time to after I dropped him off at the airport the last time that was uh, and that was during the daylight with the sun out um, that was pretty much the end of my driving no more no more driving until I get this taken care of and um, the reason why I'm talking about it now is I went to my general practitioner Dr yesterday and got the approval for the surgery. I already talked to the eye doctor and got that set up so it will be today is Wednesday and it will be a week from yesterday so the following Tuesday October 8th is when I get my left eye operated on and get that one fixed and then within 10 days after that I can go back to driving again and I will hopefully be actually able to see things and see them clearly. Um, I never had blurry vision from it or anything like that. It was just really it knocked down the contrast enough to not be safe. And when you don't have contrast, things just kind of blend in together. As a matter of fact, I've got three black cats and a medium gray cat. And in the evening time when there's not bright light, I can't tell the gray cat from the black cat. He looks like one of the three black cats. So that's how bad my contrast is getting. But um, yeah, that's going to be taken care of bit by bit. But it also means for the next year or so, and the thing that's really, it's not, the surgery isn't really bothering me. I mean, the surgery's pretty simple, uh, less than 10 minutes, and that's all done. And uh, both my mom and dad went through it, and they say they saw excellent after that. In fact, my dad said he'd never seen as good in his whole life as when he had the surgery done. So that part's no problem. But the financial part's really going to hit me hard because um, it's co totally going to be cash. And thank God all the doctors are giving me some pretty good breaks. I mean, they're give me on some things they're giving me thirty percent off some things thirty three percent off some things even fifty percent off so I'm gonna be able to get it done a lot cheaper than normal which you know would be quite costly anyway but even with the knockdown that means my extra spending money for going on any kind of trips or anything like that I've only got one trip planned next year that's a friend of mine um, in Pennsylvania that's getting married two friends of mine actually getting married to each other that I helped introduce them and uh, that's about the only trip I'm going to do, and I'm going to probably try to make that just in one shot deal so I can just pay for the gas, stay at their place, and uh, do it uh, as a freebie that way and just pay for the gas because I'm going to be on a real tight budget, but it's okay. I mean, I, I don't need any help or anything like that. I'll make it fine. It's just going to be that I won't you know, have as much extra spending money next year as I hope to have, but then the next year after that, 
it should be back to pretty much normal. But kind of want to let you guys know what was uh, going on in my life and uh, why you probably won't see any motorcycle vlogs or anything like that for at least a little while. But then after that, no reason why I can't drive around locally and, you know, anything in the area after that. But I just got to take it a little bit easier for a while and there's going to be a 10-day recovery after the surgery where I'm not supposed to do any driving or anything. So, yep, by the end of October everything should be fine and maybe by then I'll even be scheduling to get the other eye done and fixed. So, take care everybody. I will talk to you later.